Hi, second grade, Mrs. Bishop here. This week for writing, we're gonna keep working on poetry, but we're gonna work on poems that rhyme and have patterns. So we're gonna first work on A, A, B, B poems, and then A, B, A, B poems. Let's get started. So we're working on those pattern and rhyming poems this week. But as we go to do that, we need to make sure we remember what we've learned so far. So you need to look at the world through a poet's eyes, choose a topic that gives you big feelings, use line breaks. We wanna use those words in creative ways and continue to use descriptive and precise words like those synonyms we learned last week. Now for this week, rhyming poems. Poets use patterns and rhyming words to make their poems sound like a song. I'm sure you're familiar with this song here, which is also an AABB poem. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Most of the poems that I know from heart are rhyming poems because they do sound like a song and they're easy to remember and they give you those big feelings. So what does it mean to rhyme? Words that have the same ending sound are words that rhyme. Sun, fun, they both end in un and go un. That, bat, they both end with at. Frog, log, O-G. Now, when we look at our last sets of rhyming words, you'll notice that they don't have the same ending letters that our first three did, but they still have the same ending sound, so they rhyme. Star, R, fly, high. What is a pattern exactly? A pattern is the same thing repeated over and over again. You can see here we have green, green, blue, blue, and then it's going to repeat over again. Green, green, blue, blue. We have another pattern down here. Yellow, pink, it's going to repeat over again. Yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. This week, our poems have a pattern. An A-A-B-B pattern and an A-B-A-B pattern. These are the poems we're gonna try. And we already talked a little bit about the AABB poem. You can see here that first you pick a topic to write about, then you write four lines rhyming the last word of the first two lines. That's star and R. Then the last word of the second two lines. So you rhyme the, these words, sky, high, sky. For an ABAB poem, we rhyme every other line. Small, ball, treat, seat. Our ABAB poem is at the baseball game. I was so small, but I got a treat. I caught a ball in my seat. We are going to start today by practicing an AABB poem together. First, you need to remember to go to that big feelings page and pick a topic that gives you big feelings. Today, I decided I want to write about the Kansas City Chiefs. So I have my poem set up. When you write these poems, it's helpful to write a rough draft first and then your final copy so you know that you're keeping the pattern. So here's my rough draft. I know I need these two lines to rhyme. Here's what I came up with. The crowd yells, go. The play starts to flow. I was thinking about what it looks like when you're at a Chiefs game and what it sounds like and feels like. I was really trying to look at it with a poet's eyes. And I made sure go and flow rhyme for our pattern. Now my next two lines, that last word needs to rhyme. Mahomes looks over the field, runs for a touchdown with his shield. If you don't know, Patrick Mahomes is the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, and he has players on the field who shield him to make sure that he can make plays for passing and running. Now I have my final copy. I added a picture, and I wrote it without the AABB pattern. The crowd yells, go. The play starts to flow. Mahomes looks over the field, runs for a touchdown with his shield. Now let's take a look at an ABAB poem together. 
first you have to choose a big feeling topic and I chose pizza. So I have my rough draft ready so I know which lines are supposed to rhyme. First, I'm going to write my first two lines. Hmm. Ooh, dripping cheesy goo, hot and ready to eat. These words don't rhyme like the A-A-B-B poem. We're going to go every other. So I know my next line, that last word, needs to rhyme with goo. Topped with pepperoni too. Goo and too, they rhyme. My last word of my last line needs to rhyme with eat. Treat. Now let's go take a peek at my final copy. Pizza, dripping cheesy goo, hot and ready to eat. Topped with pepperoni too, pizza is my favorite treat. This week's second grade, your activity is to write two A-A-B-B poems and two A-B-A-B poems. You can use the types of poems, you can this video and the helpful slides to help you write those poems and remember, to hear the song. Maybe you could even turn your poem into a song if you would like. And as always, remember all of these things that we have learned so far to put into your poetry. Remember to share your hard work on Seesaw. I can't wait to see what you do.